Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you how we can fix this issue inside of Maya to save ourselves time and prevent that really, 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 really annoying thing of having to reload normals and get them looking correctly. Because I know as we work and maybe we're pulling a really long day and this can happen, we could easily get ourselves uh, thinking that it's something we did rather than it's just the software not doing what it's supposed to do. So let me show you how you can fix this thing so the normals actually apply correctly. If we look inside of our Hypershade and I've got my normal map right here and it says handles or handle underscore normals. So the important thing is that we have a naming convention that we're gonna stick with, and that's very, very important. I'm often either going with norm or normals for my normal maps, and so I wanna make sure that anything I do to make a new rule for Maya is something that I'm gonna stick with, and it's not gonna cause any other issues. Again, if I hit reload, it's always gonna do the sRGB, and I'll find myself having to send that to raw. That's what we're trying to fix right here. So if I am, to go into this little option right here. It says animation preferences. It brings us to the time slider preferences of our preferences uh, panel. But what we wanna do is go to the color management. And under color management, we'll have something called input color space rules. And right now there's a set list of rules that are going on right here. What I wanna be able to do is add a new rule. And what I'm gonna do is call that normal. So this rule doesn't really matter the specific name of this. It's not actually like looking for that name. This is just a name for you to be able to understand what this is going to do for us. Over here is the other important part. What we want this to say is that it's looking for an image extension. It doesn't have to necessarily be a bump or an EXR or anything like that. So I'm gonna use the asterisk so it's gonna be any of these things. So basically what it's saying is under this new rule for normal, when an image is loaded and it is an image of any kind of image, do this next thing. So that image file path pattern is what it's gonna look for for a name. And I'm gonna actually just paste what I have made before and you are more than free to use this exact same thing. And so you'll see there's like an asterisk and there's open bracket, lowercase n, uppercase n, close bracket, O-R-M, and then another asterisk. What this is saying, and you don't need to know all this uh, mumbo jumbo, except uh, in case if you're interested in it, this means that if it's at the end of a file name, you could look for it there, or if it's occurring at the beginning of a file, it also will be looked for. Um, it's also saying that it can be a lowercase or an uppercase N for this, and it should be as long as N-O-R-M is added to our file. So we need to be careful in case if for whatever reason, um, I don't know, you're making a texture that's named abnormal, it may apply the raw color space to that instead of sRGB and it may not have been intend intentional. So we just need to make sure, there's not many things I can think of that I might accidentally call something with N-O-R-M. There's not many other words that I think I would be thinking of there. So I think this would be a safe one to use. So with that being said, I have this named here and it says my input color space. I want that to be set to raw, meaning that now when a file is loaded of any type and it notices that these words or these letters are in that order here, either at the beginning or, in it, or at the beginning of a file or at the end of a file, then I want Maya to apply the color space of raw for us. Now that that's there, I'm gonna press reapply rules to the scene. I'm gonna save. You'll notice it even right away fixed that weird glitch for me uh, without me doing that. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a little trick or a try here. I'm gonna select that and then click reload. You'll notice it's keeping it raw every time. That's awesome, it prevents that headache from occurring. Um, I'm just gonna check again, there's my normals for my sword. I'm gonna reload that and you'll see it's staying raw. So this is just a quick little trick that's gonna prevent you from having that massive headache. Uh, again, it's super, super easy to get that going. Um, I will provide the uh, exact copy and paste text if you wanna add that in there and not have to worry about like having that asterisk or, or uh, the brackets incorrect, I'll, I'll have that for you. But yeah, that's, that's how we solve this little problem.